Hello everybody, AJ Rizek here, and today I'm going to show you how to add root functions to the GNOME files, or also known as the Nautilus File Manager. Um, a few years ago they changed the name to GNOME Files from Nautilus, what the reason for what for I really don't know, but anyway, I'm going to show you how to add some root actions to it. You know, previously uh, you used to be able to do GKSU so that you could open a graphical program with root access. However, GKSU that has not been updated since I think 2009. Uh, so a lot of distributions do not include it anymore. Um, you know, Ubuntu doesn't, Solus doesn't. Now you may download an application that uh, that requires GKSU to function and in that case a lot of times you get GKSU added to your distribution uh, you know in, to uh, uh, just because of, of adding that particular piece of software however the um, you know quote unquote proper way to to open say Nautilus or gedit with uh, with root access these days is through um, uh, PK, I guess you would call it PK execute. It's uh, PK -E -X -E -C, so I guess that's PK uh, PK execute. Anyway, um, to be able to open an application using PK execute, you do need to have a policy kit file that is uh, stored on your on your uh, computer so that you can access that particular. Uh, that particular uh, uh, application uh, using the root access. So I'm going to kind of do, we're kind of going to do two things. One, I'm going to show you how to get those policy kit files for both um, Nautilus or, or files, whichever you want to call it, and then also for gedit. And then I'll show you how to add the, uh, the root actions to your menu on Nautilus and actually I've already done it on on my system here I'll just kinda give you a little demonstration uh, and you know we'll just any folder we could open this way if you come down on my on my right click menu you can see where it says edit is root I've added that and then also open folder is root so if you go and you click open folder is root you would put in your password And boom, oh, it popped up my other screen. But you can see it opened that folder with root access. And then let's go to a document here. Oh, let's see what I got uh, in document wise that I could open. I don't know what's in the temporaries. Here, let's just say that we wanted to open this document. Um, it's a text document. You can go edit as root. Once again, you'd have to put in your password. And boom, it opens that with root privileges. So, let me go and let me drag my notes over here just so I've got something to work from and let's open our terminal what's really cool is that folks over at uh, web update have uh, have already done most of the legwork for us I just kind of took it one more step um, they've created the policy kit files or maybe they've they've they grabbed them from somewhere else and just threw it up on their uh, uh, on their github page but anyway you can go and download these install them on your computer and then you'll have the uh, the policy kit files you need so and I'll leave I'll leave these uh, these instructions down below uh, in the video description so that uh, so that you can just copy and paste so do a wget and then use this address and then uh, boom it downloads for you and you know it's just a text file so it, it instantly install or uh, uh, downloads for you and then just install and 
Now I've already installed it, so I, oop, I, I didn't get the S in the sudo. But anyway, uh, I've already installed this, so I'm not actually going to reinstall it, but this is basically all you need to do. You put that in, put in your sudo password, and then boom, it is installed. And that is the one for Nautilus, and then we'll have this uh, policy kit right here for gedit as well. Download that one as well. Uh, install it, boom. Uh, you're, you've essentially you, you've you've created the ability to use that PK execute now. Now, as far as creating the um, uh, the entries into the drop-down menu for that, I use a little tool called Nautilus Actions, and a lot of distributions have it in their in their software repositories. I'm on Solus. And they they have it in their software repositories. Uh, just do a search. And this is what you want right here called Nautilus Actions Configuration Tools. So go and install that. Now, in the case of other distributions, you'll have to check and see if you need to add a PPA or. Uh, um, you know, do you need to download the tar file and install from from source? I'm not sure of every distribution. Um, you know where uh, uh, whether it's installed in their uh, in their repositories or not. But anyway, that's the tool that I use. Let me go and pull it up. And okay, so Nautilus Actions. And I'll just, like I said, I've already got this done, so I'll just kind of walk you through what I've done here. And um, you can go and, uh, and basically repeat what I've done. Uh, as well, I will have a, uh, a write-up on my web website so that you can go and, uh, you know, copy and paste most of this. I'll make it a little easier for you. Okay, so for the, I created an entry that, called edit as root and create an entry you just hit the define new action right here so created edit as root and then under nautilus item under actions make sure that you've clicked uh, display item and selected context menu display item and location context menu I labeled it edit as root you know call it root edit you know whatever you want it's it's whatever is going to display same thing under edit tooltip you can pick an icon you just go to browse and you get a variety of different icons you can pick uh, I picked the document edit symbol that seemed to make sense under command I labeled it root and then for the path now this part is the important part P -A P K execute uh, for the path parameter, you want G edit and uh, percentage and an F, and then under working directory percentage and then a D. Execution, you leave normal. Basically, from execution baseline mime type, all this stuff right through here, I left that with the default settings, and uh, everything should work just fine for you open as folder or open folder as root essentially doing the same thing create a new action uh, label it open folder as root uh, tooltip same thing pick an icon uh, make sure you've checked the display item and selection context menu and location context menu under command I labeled that one as root also use the path of PK execute again in this case parameters Nautilus percent D because all we're doing is we're opening that folder still in Nautilus um, but uh, opening it with root access uh, working directory once again percentage D and once again execution base name yada 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 all this stuff just left with the default settings and then after all that is done this little arrow down button will record all the 
modifications that you've made and save all of those commands. Now if you go up to I believe it is in edit under preferences uh, under and you've got a couple you know some some different preferences that you can set UI preferences export import different all kinds of different stuff but anyway one thing that I did you can um, if you want to create a a lot of say of, um, of uh, um, menu items with uh, Nautilus actions you can create a root Nautilus actions menu basically it's a, it's a sub menu so when you would right click oh here I'll show you what it looked like I'll create a, a root Nautilus actions menu click OK and see if it'll yeah so now when you come down to the drop down menu you get to Nautilus actions and it gives you a sub menu Personally, since I was only adding two, I really didn't see the need to do that. However, if you're going to go and add, you know, maybe you want to go and create some other, some other actions with uh, Nautilus actions, then you know maybe you do want to uh, uh, go with the sub menu, um, just because you're not limited to just. The, the the two items that I show you to do here. There's there's lots of commands that you can create and add with Nautilus actions, but um, it you know for the purpose of this video, that's that's what I created with it. And anyway, after you do all that, uh, you are essentially done. Um, you may need to go. Actually, no. Um, I was about to say you may need to go and reboot. I don't think you do. Uh, when uh, when I did it, you know, everything was fine without a reboot. So uh, just close up Nautilus if you've already got it open, reopen it, and you should be ready to go. Well, that uh, that pretty much finishes things up here. If you got any questions, comments, all that kind of stuff, please leave it down below. I'll try to get to it as soon as possible. Once again, I will do a write-up on my uh, blog page, and that way you can, you know, copy and paste all the instructions and, and go from there. Um, I will try to get that up as soon as possible. As soon as I get the blog up, I will leave a link down below in the video description so that you can go to that blog page. As always, thanks for watching. Hope to see you all in my next video, and uh, thanks for joining us.